Hello grade 11 students, welcome back to the final part of our spaceship tutorial series. This final part is going to be split into two videos just for the sake of organization, but it's all revolving around the same ideas, which is including visual information about the state or status of different things in our game world. For starters, the first thing we're going to talk in the top left corner, we're going to be creating a health bar that shows how much health is remaining for our ship. We can do this in many different ways. I'm going to sh show you one strategy that I think looks really nice. And then in the second video, we're going to take a look at adding a score tracker in the top middle part of our screen. All right, let's begin the health bar. The first thing I want to do is I'm going to add a new subclass and I'm going to call this health bar, as you might expect we would. Let's hop into the code for this health bar. Now this health bar, needs to have some private attributes. We need to know its size. I'm going to define a width and a height for it. We'll put the values for that later, but I want it to be aware of it. And I also need it to know some information about some of the information in my world already. The health bar is going to be creating information based off of the state of our hero. So it needs to be aware of our hero. So I'm just going to let it know, be aware that you are going to be accessing something from our hero rule set. We're going to call it inside of this class, my hero. Why not? All right, so this is what it needs to be aware of. Now let's set up how it gets this information. I'm going to create a constructor for this. And this constructor, when I create the health bar, needs to receive some information. It's going to get the width, the height, and the information about the hero. All this information is going to be sent to it from where it gets constructed. It's going to be constructed in our galaxy world, but we'll just get this information set here. So this dot width is going to be the width that's sent to it. This dot height is going to be the height that's sent to it. And this dot my hero is going to be the my hero information sent to it when it's constructed. Awesome. So that information is now going to be stored in our health bar class. Now, we're gonna have a need for some getters and setters later for width and height, actually just getters. So just to save some time, I'm just gonna create the get width getter, oops, typoed, which is going to return the width that I have sent to this. And then I'm gonna get the height as well. Why is that shift key getting sticky? Should stop eating over my keyboard, I think. Returning the height. Awesome. And so now I've set up the status of the elements of this class. I need it to be able to update based off of the health of my ship. So I need to get some information about the status of my hero, and I need to create a visual representation of that information. So to do that, I'm going to be creating a new method called draw. And each act of our world, each moment this health bar exists, it's going to be attempting to draw. This is what's going to allow our thing to update. I could maybe, if I wanted to call this update or something, but draw works just fine. Inside of this, I am going to be defining a new greenfoot image, my image. And it is going to be the size that I asked this health bar to be. I am going to set the color in this image. Now, what color should we have this health bar be? The way that I'm going to do this right now is I'm just going to have one bar that decreases in size. If you wanted to have more information, you might do a different process here. But I'm going to set the color to red. Remember, this is the way that we set the color. It's kind of like in paint, selecting that color before you draw. I'm just kind of selecting it before I do any drawing. And now I'm going to add a little note what I'm going to do next here. I am going to um, draw a rectangle that reflects the amount of health my character has. I guess I should, I'll say here, my hero has to be a bit more clear. So I want this 
rectangle to change its size depending on how much health I have left. When I start the game, it'll be a certain length, and then as I take damage, it's going to decrease in size. There's many different ways that we can program this logic, but I'm going to show you a generalized way that uses a couple new strategies to add to the value of this tutorial. I'm going to, right here in this method, define a new variable called health percentage. And I want this to be a number that reflects what percent of health that my hero has left. But to get that, I need to get information from my hero. What information is available for me to get right now? I can get health. I'm in my hero class. What are my getters? I can get health. Setter here. I can get its speed. Just getting the amount of health it has might be sufficient for some ways of implementing it. But in this case here, I want to have a little bit more going on, a little bit more of a calculation going on as well. I'm going to actually add in my hero class a variable, an int, for max health. And when I create this, I think I've had my health to 5 before. So I'm going to set my max health to 5 in my constructor. Then I'm going to say that health is max health, because I want it to be at full health when it's constructed in the first place. So this is currently my health and my max health. And I want to add in a new get method. Here's what this get method is going to do. It's going to return to me the status of my health in the moment. And we're going to be using a new data type here called a double. A double allows us to include decimals in our number values. I'm going to call this get status. So the job of this method is to return some kind of a value. And I'm going to be doing this actually in a slightly different way as well. There's a few more slightly more advanced things going on in this tutorial, so listen to it a couple times through if you need to. I don't actually have to define a bunch of things in the first place. I can begin this method just by saying return. And then whatever is done on this line will be what's, what's returned. I want to return the current status of health, meaning the current amount of health I have divided by the max health. That's the proportion of health that my character has. Now, I want this number sent as a double so that it can have a decimal value because this is going to be a decimal. If I do this right now, these are both integers, meaning they're going to get rounded off. And that rounded number is always going to be, well, health divided by max health. At best, it's going to be 1. And if health is less than max health, it's going to be some decimal, 0 0.5, 0 0.25, something like that. If I leave it as an integer, it's going to get rounded down to 0 every time, meaning I will never see a health bar. I have to do this thing that we've done previously called casting. I need to tell it. I want this to be represented as a double, not as an integer. By putting double in brackets in front of it, I say, this information, make it a double. There's certain times where we're allowed to cast and certain times we're not. But going between doubles and integers, Java will do that for us. So by casting this to a double, then whatever decimal value I get from this will stay a decimal value when I return it. So now, whatever the current state of this hero is, maybe he's taken some damage and he only has 3 out of 5 health. Let's imagine that scenario where his max health is always going to be 5, but his current health starts at max, but it's going to decrease as he contacts things. Remember down here we have, where do we have it here? Our health is decreasing by the amount of damage done by an asteroid. So maybe partway through our game, we only have 3 out of 5 health left. Get status is going to tell us 3 divided by 5. 0.6. Store that as a double. Stay 0.6 and tell us that number. Okay. We're going to use that information over here. Health percentage is going to be the number that we gather from our get our hero class. So here's what we're going to do. Let's talk this through. I want to access my hero. I have that information. I have the information of my hero stored in this method. Now I have access to it here, my hero. And I want to access that method that I just created, the get status method. This is going to get us the double, the decimal value of what percent of health it has remaining. And I'm going to times this by width. So what is this going to do? My hero's status, the percentage of health that my hero has left, times by the width. 
meaning that if, only, if he has half health left, the width is going to be halved. If he has a quarter health left, the width is going to be a quarter. The size is going to be proportionally equivalent to how much health the hero has left. The last step I have to do here is that it is going to, by timesing a double by my width, it's going to have some, uh, it, it's going to be a double still. So I need to actually convert this back to an integer to set it to my health percentage. So the double value of the proportion of health left times by the width is now going to equal the new health percentage. Maybe there's a better name I could have for this, but if I change this to the, uh, just the number, the amount health left, how will we say that? So that is the value, the new width in a way about how much health is left. The original width was full health. Now I have some proportion less of health. All right. Now I'm going to take my image and I'm going to fill a rectangle in it. I'm going to create it at the starting coordinate of this image that's being added. What is it that I am, like, oh, sorry, what is the width of this drawing? It's going to be health left and the height of my object. Doesn't need to be any more than that. And then I'm going to down here, set the image of this to image. My image is what I named it. Set that image to my image. All right, so now I have my health bar class defined and in place here. I'll just quickly recap what we have. We have some local private variables that we initialize with our constructor, the width and height we want, passing in the information of our hero so that it can work with it. Then we are going to be, as this exists, attempting to draw with updated information. It's going to create an image of the width and height that we request with the red color it is going to be gathering the current information because it's drawing every act. It's going to get the current status of the hero and then change the size and draw that size of a rectangle based off that updated information. All right, now what's left to do is to come back into our world class and we want to actually add this to our world, add the health bar. So I'm going to create a health bar Call it health bar is a new health bar. And I'm going to pass it some information, the width and height. I'm going to make it 100 wide and 10 high. And I need to also pass it my hero's information. I have created the hero here. So all I have to do is send it the name of the hero to send it that hero information. Now I add the object to the world. Last new thing for us here. What am I adding? Health bar. But where am I adding it? I want this to be generalized for my world. I could just put in some numbers, but I'm going to add another layer here for you to consider. I am going to add it at my health bar. I'm accessing this object, and I'm going to get its width and divide it by 2. I'm going to access this health bar. I'm going to get its height and divide it by 2. That's going to ensure that the health bar is really nicely positioned in the top right hand corner. Think of it like this. The width of the health bar divided by two. Now this add object, this remember, places based on the center point of the object. So by shifting it half of its width over, it'll be perfectly widthwise in the top left corner. And by shifting it down by half of its height, it'll be perfectly tucked in that corner. Now it's not here because I have to hit run first to see it, but now we see there's that red bar that represents my health and that size that I created it. And if I get hit, watch what happens. It decreases by a chunk, one value. Get hit again, get hit again, and so on and so forth until I run out of health and my game ends. Cool, a nice kind of simplistic way of representing health just with a bar. You could do that with numbers. You can make the bar stretch across the whole screen. You could add a background to it. There's many different ways you could expand and make this more sophisticated, but there's the basic structure for it. In part two of this, we're going to deal with the actual score, which is maybe the most complex set of logical interactions between objects yet. Great place to finish off this tutorial series. I'll see you in the next one to get that score up in the middle part of our screen.